Burpees band here, 19th of October 2023. This is what I had for breakfast, microwave pecans, coffee, fried eggs, banana, cucumber, red onion, olives, and olive oil. Lunch included tofu, roasted vegetables, turkey mince patties, as well as vegetable falafels. Looks quite messy, but it's quite delicious. And I decided to put some Doritos spicy sauce on top. Accompanying the food was some matcha tea. I've had some coffees today and as well as a small chocolate. Today I'm going to make a commentary style video in reply to Lee Hazard from Strong and Condition and his post, Is Busy Dad a Fake Natty? Is he on the juice? Does he take testosterone? Is it turkesterone? What steroids is he on? What's his cycle? What's going on? According to Lee, somebody out there in YouTube land has made the claim that Max Edwards is a fake natty. A fake natty is someone who's in fact on performance enhancing drugs when they claim not to be. Now I think this is a legitimate question. Busy dad is ripped, he's got a great physique. First of all, this can be a touchy subject, but it's quite funny at the same time that it's rocking the burpee community. Secondly, I think we should promote open discussion. We are a very positive community and these things are interesting to talk about. We shouldn't vilify the person who's made these remarks. And Lee has done an excellent job at keeping the attention on the topic itself. As a disclaimer and out of curiosity, I've tried to search for this particular video that's been labeled as clickbait. I haven't found it, so Mm, conspiracy theory is the clickbait clickbait uh, but uh, in all seriousness there's no point in looking for it because the topic is a good one is busy dad on peds can he achieve those physical results without taking performance enhancing drugs the main argument would be that max is taking peds to get the huge numbers he needs on his program but when you see fake natties they try to convince you that they're not on peds and max doesn't do that Max has documented his journey and it's taken years to get to these big numbers and unfortunately he's had a bit of a dip in his numbers recently. Max has focused a lot on his nutrition and how it does contribute to his performance but also his physical appearance and you know you can see his biceps here he has great thumbnails great photos and he does state that the burpee program that he's on has got him in the best shape of his life. Another point is the origins of the burpee community. You need to look back to the origins. In 2020, everybody was locked down. Can't go to the gym, can't go out and jog, can't get any fresh air, you have to stay inside. In your apartment, in your home, in your garage, you can work out. And Art, Iron Wolf, the original inspiration for everybody, was promoting keeping a healthy lifestyle, keeping fit in the comforts of your own home, in the safety and shelter of your own home. And it was never about how you look. It was never about getting huge, getting jacked. It was about keeping fit, not losing the gains that we had all made with our exercise programs. And for those who want to start up, it was about getting them onto the right path, being fit, being healthy. So it was never about, about how you look. So I don't think it ever really set up the scene to have you know anyone on PEDs, to have anyone talking about being natural. It was all about the performance, the work, and the community. And I also want to mention kind of, you know, lastly to lead into my main points of what I'm gonna talk about is, look at the Busy Dad's first couple of videos. He's a lean guy, he, he's a skinny guy. You're gonna see his abs, you're gonna, going to see his muscles, he doesn't have much fat on his body. And you know he eats a plant-based diet, he puts in the work. You're going to see results when you do live a strict, clean lifestyle. He, he's given up alcohol, he doesn't drink alcohol. He's spoken about all of these factors that go into achieving this physique. And you can't ignore that. So the fact that he is prob he probably does have a higher metabolism, um, probably uh, was always a leaner type of guy. He's come from a uh, weightlifting, powerlifting background. He's been doing workouts for a long time. You can't ignore these facts. But then you've got these sketchy characters that are rife in the community. Tony from Still in the Game. Mate, late 50s, muscular AF. His skin looks perfect. Bit more than luck of the Irish. 
Derek Towers, also known as Osiris, regular meetups in this random car park with a whole group of people, a bit more than teamwork I think. One of the most suspicious burpee characters in the community is this female practitioner. Her long luscious hair doesn't distract me from the fact that she has muscles from head to toe, cranking out 500 six count burpees and that deep voice, come on. Let's not look past the ravenous carnivore known as Eric McCarty. Self-centered, selfish, doesn't participate in the community, is a huge stress head. I mean, I think he's eating a bit more than meat, don't you reckon? Caught red-handed, Eric. We see your glasses and textbooks on chemistry. I know which chemicals you like. Can't forget this guy. Hides his face, calls it a supercharged program. Supercharge. The only thing you're supercharging are the things you're putting in your veins, mate. Alright, so I hope my friends do not hate me after this. Bit of banter, taking the piss out of them. Taking the piss out of the claim that Busy Dad is a fake natty. I mean, we're all doing things to make ourselves healthier, make ourselves fitter, focusing on nutrition, workouts, even skincare routines, meditation, spirituality, uh, weights. You know, we're doing all of these different things. If you look at the diverse community, we are putting in the work in various aspects of our life to look the way we look and we're seeing results. So the intimidating thumbnail that Lee Hazard posted of Busy Dad next to a needle and some juice. I mean, this is an incredible photo. Just goes to show how far Max has come. And, you know, he doesn't have an ounce of fat on him. He looks great here. He's ripped. He looks jacked. Um, he's got a lot of photos like this. But to varying degrees, this one's a little bit less uh, in your face. And if you watch his videos, again, in the past, um, you know, he, he does look like this. But my point moving forward is going to be camera angles, lighting, and at different periods throughout the past few years, we're you know, fluctuating with our weight, experimenting with our diets, with our routines, and we do look different here and there. But if you do put the work in, you're going to see results. So these are some of my progress photos this year, April, May, and October. This October photo is today. These are all relatively the same camera angle, although there is different lighting. You can see my abs better in the daylight, which is the April and the October photo, and less in the May photo. However, I'm weighing the heaviest now in the October photo. I was lightest in the April photo, and you know, after head coming back from Germany, eating a lot of shit, a lot of chocolate, a lot of burgers, um, these photos don't actually look that different and I am probably lightest in April, like I said, and heaviest now, but it looks similar. Using these photos for comparison, I'm lightest in December 2021 on a strict caloric restriction diet. However, in November, I, I was maybe only a kilogram heavier, um, and but I look a couple of kilograms heavier. I, I'm standing at a different angle, there is different lighting, and I would say, in my opinion, one kilogram doesn't make that much of a difference, but camera angle and lighting does. And then in April, you can see that I look quite good there, but I'm probably closer to November picture than I was December in that photo. Again, camera angle, lighting, and weight fluctuations. Here we go um, with another photo from today. Different camera angle, I'm not putting my forearm across my belly fat, you can see my belly fat. So you can do things, you can do tricks on the camera to make yourself look better and why wouldn't you? Same day, a couple of seconds later, standing to the side, looks different to me. Um, I see less belly fat, looks more of an average type of body, less abs. Again, standing in the shade, lighting has changed it up significantly. I am holding my forearm against my belly, but I think this looks quite different to the other photos. What the fuck's going on here? There's one ab or a lump or something, <laughs> one flab. I would not make this my thumbnail. Again, you can delete all the photos you don't like and choose the best one. And you know, that's what Busy Dad has done. Can't we talk about normal things, like Busy Dad's short pants? Oh my god! Burpees Bandit's verdict is Max is natural. 
There's a lot of components that go into this and camera angles and lighting play a big role. Burpees community rarely focuses on physique and aesthetics. Moving forward though, and on the supercharged burpees program, which has already allowed me to trim down, lose some fat and gain some muscle, I am going to focus more on aesthetics and in a few months time or whenever in the future, I'll be posting progress photos to compare with the photos that I've posted here today and to see if the supercharged burpees program not only conditions you, makes you healthier, but also makes you look better because why not? You know, burpees are the best exercise. You don't need to go to the gym to look good. Look at busy dad, look at others in the community. It's having great effects on our physique. So let's highlight this.